The Dart AE is a bullet-shaped aircraft that stands out as a hypersonic jet, boasting the remarkable ability to fly at Mach 7, equivalent to 5,370 miles per hour. To put it into perspective, this means the Dart A is nearly 10 times faster than popular passenger planes like the Boeing 737 or Airbus A380 often used for summer vacations. This impressive aircraft is currently under development by Hypersonics Launch Systems, an Australian company, in collaboration with the U.S. Department of Defense DOD. It is part of the Dodds testing program, which they aptly named HICAT, High Cadence Airborne Testing Capabilities, showcasing their knack for combining coolness and complexity. We can only assume they didn't go with, fast as heck, because it was already taken. Surprisingly, the Dart A is compact in size, measuring only 9 feet and 8 inches in length, making it shorter than a Fiat 500 or a Mini. Its lightweight nature is also noteworthy, weighing just 660 pounds or 300 kilogram. This is partly due to the fact that the entire airframe is 3D printed, contributing to its reduced weight. The highlight of this jet lies in its engine. Powered by hydrogen, the Dart A can travel up to 620 miles at Mach 7. At full speed, it could theoretically cover the distance between Portland and San Francisco in an astonishing 10 minutes. Its propulsion system, known as Spartan, utilizes technology similar to that of space rockets and is capable of reaching speeds exceeding 9,000 miles per hour, equivalent to Mach 12, as stated by Hypersonics. While various companies are working on new projects, commercial supersonic flights are no longer available. The Concorde, retired in 2003, and the Tupolev, a Soviet airliner capable of reaching Mach 2, discontinued in 1999 were the last prominent supersonic options. When it comes to hypersonic speeds, such as Mach 5 and above, the complexity and challenges increase even further. While supersonic and hypersonic transport may become available in the future, it's advisable not to hold our breath for it just yet. Thanks for watching.